Hey everyone, it's Rich with Auto Shepherd. We're gonna be doing a series on air filters. We're gonna show you a variety of different air filters from different brands installed in different vehicles. Most of you are probably familiar with installing an air filter, but for those of you that aren't, this is one of the easiest maintenance jobs you can do for your vehicle, and it's something that you need to do about every 10 to 15,000 miles. Volvos are legendary for their safety and durability. They are the icons of suburbia and the suburban environment. With this install, we're hoping to see a little bit of the S60's wild side. We're going to be installing a K&N uh, replacement OE air filter here. Um, this is a washable and reusable air filter, so you can continue to use this, just cleaning it out uh, periodically. So this K&N air filter uh, included in the box, obviously it includes the air filter here. Um, we have a little instructional sheet here. Um, we also get a nifty little K&N sticker, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Oh, it's a warranty card. And it also includes this air filter sealing grease. Um, so we're gonna see how we're supposed to use that in just a second here when we install the air filter. So the first step is to remove the old air filter from the air filter housing. Um, most of the newer air filter housings will have this little oxygen sensor um, right in here. And you want to, you can either remove it or you can leave it in, but you, if you leave it in, you definitely want to make sure that there's enough play in the cord to where you're not straining this when you take the, uh, the housing top off. So this particular housing has these nifty little clips here. You just unclip those, lift this up, and then we have some tabs in the back that we need to pull these free from. Go ahead and pull out the old air filter. Again, being careful with the wire there. Got a little, little creature. So this is what a OE style paper filter looks like. As you can see, it catches all your little dust and particles there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and toss this. So according to the instructions from K&N, we're supposed to apply this air filter sealing grease uh, into this channel right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put uh, a pretty good bead in there. But in this vehicle, we want the tabs to be facing forward and the grease to be, be facing towards the rear. Again, we wanna make sure not to stress the sensor too, too badly there. And then on this housing, we're gonna try and put these tabs in the back holes here. All right, so once those back tabs are in, just set it down like this. Put these front plastic clips back. Well, that's pretty much it for the uh, air filter install, and we are good to go. 